The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Okay, I was just uh, finishing up putting my notations on the one minute chart. Uh, look at that. Leg D in the 10 minute chart. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm not complaining because we're long. Uh, but it, I have to tell you, it is a surprise because what's going on now where crude oil essentially should have been up 10, 15 bucks over the last two days. A goal should have been really up 45 to 63 points. Uh, we, we've really not seen that. And um, okay, so now let's just deal with what we've got. I'm out of this. Uh, let me just switch charts. There we go. Okay. I'm going to do this quickly because I've got just a ton of calls. And before I get a ton of questions, uh, Bill, uh, yesterday you were asking me about. Um, was it Bank of America? Bank of America with the question about, let me just double check here because I think that's where we had a response in the den. Oh, I don't know if I can find it. I've got to go back too far. Oh, Bill, Bill. Yes, Bill. Bill Montana. Oh, a, B, C, a, B, C, D. Okay, that was the other question about the A to B equals C to D. I, and I believe it was in Bank of America. So, Bill uh, Montana, if you're listening, uh, in the den, uh, Dan in the den said, uh, if you want to do that, it works best. Uh, let me how I wrote it down, and he might just type it back in there. Um, logarithmic, uh, logarithmic charts give you the best for the percentage and the points. So just think about that. You might want to do it. Uh, that was a suggestion I've never done. In fact, I've always done, ever since I used to hand chart, is a one-to-one -one. I have no. Uh, I I just do do it as a mathematical equation with uh, exact um, movements, no percentage, no changes like that for my charts. Um, that's just something. Everybody has their different ways of looking at this. All right. That was that. The next question was. Uh, let me get through this here. Yeah. Thank you, uh, GT, for that comment on um, on a. I wrote it down here. Let me just see if I can get to it. And I need to get to it because it was part of what I look at as as the socioeconomic aspect. And I'll, I, I'm going to find it in a second if I can see where I wrote it down. Um, it's not right in front of me. Why is it not in front of me now? I needed to get to it. About the uh, performances, $1,500 a ticket. No, right, I'll get to that. And another question was Neo. So if you're looking at Neo, oops, typed in the den, the wrong place. Uh, Neo right here. So Neo is a, a Chinese electric car, electric vehicle actually company, and uh, I think you mentioned uh, calls. Uh, yeah, as a trading look, this is this tiny little move. If you're doing that, I would keep it as just. Very quick trades, and then I'd get out of it. And one of the reasons is, look, Tesla is that Neo is one of the leading companies, I believe, in China. Tesla is one of the leading companies here, and Tesla is doing quite quite well, even though they've cut prices. I mean, I I like to talk about this every once in a while, and I, I, there's no political aspect or anything. This is just ever since I was a little kid, and I saw the wooden exterior of the Willys. You remember the Willys Jeep and then they came out with a, with a, a little that wooden paneling? I remember seeing it, I don't know how old I was, I was just maybe four years old or something like that. I don't even remember how old the Willys was back in South Africa, in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, and I looked at it and I said, oh, I don't like that at all. So ever since I was just a little kid, design has been, and, and adding what I've seen in, in, visually storing it up in mind, that's always been, when I do my notations and when people ask me and they say, where is support? I could do a mathematical formula and all that, but instantly I'll just see it and I'll say uh, 270, here's Tesla, 270 and I'll name something and lo and behold it hits that 
And then people say, how did you know? And I, to tell you, the truth, I do something in my mind, but I, it's not like I write down or I go to the computer or I calculate or anything. So with that in mind, I must mention that I had spoken about this about eight or nine months ago. And I said, um, I have seen the most number of women, I, I, don't, I couldn't say young women or older women, but to women in general, uh, the majority I think are younger, depends on what time, drive for the first time in my life. I've seen the greatest number of women driving really fancy cars and really fast cars. And I wasn't going to put any connotation what it meant or anything like that. That was just something to me that was a phenomenon that I hadn't seen. I have a theory about it. I've spoken about that a long time ago. Um, I'm not going to get into that right now, but that's not the issue. So yesterday, just by chance, I always do this. It's just my, the fun thing that I've done. I've done since I was a little kid. So I'm, I drive along and I'm, I, I saw... I've mentioned this before that I saw maybe four or five Teslas in the space of a mile and a half driving here in town in Newton, Massachusetts. Um, uh, yeah, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's called the Garden City. But that, there are people that are coming from all of the different towns. So this is not like these are all Newton people. Yesterday I saw eight or nine Teslas in a seven minute drive. And it's not like this is the fence, this is not Beverly Hills. This is just. You know, you know, middle class suburb, that's all. Um, so I'm looking at this and I, I can just tell you that Tesla, they are selling cars. That's all I can tell you. I don't know, I haven't spoken to a salesman. I am going to take the time one of these days. There's a lot of stuff I want to discuss with a salesman. He won't know that I'm there not to buy a car, but, but to get other questions. Um, I like the Tesla. I've been in some Teslas. Um, I find the ride a little bit bumpy for the roads that here we have in, in the Newton area. I mean, the Boston area, the roads are just horrible. And you can feel the bumps, but it, they are fabulous. Just the, just state of the art, and it's great. Um, I have a neighbor who I met at a block party the other day. On the way to the block party, uh, I see that he has a, a Rivian. I asked him about the Rivian, and he loves it. Um, but most people just you know have regular old cars. And I'm looking at this, and I'm saying... This is a phenomenon that you only get when things are pretty good for a lot of people. So in that respect, I'm looking at Tesla and I'm saying it's in the middle of a range. It's holding up really well out of the electric vehicles. I suspect that they still have a leading edge. They've done it all. They are there. Um, I don't know what the rating is on a consumer report. Sometimes it doesn't give them a great rating for certain things. But look at the chart. Not bad, huh? Uh, it's, a, it's a good chart, but I don't know if it's a chart that's going to go right now in this particular phase to the 283 level. It's at 264. Okay, spent enough time on that. I wanted to just uh, cover a couple, a couple of uh, the uh, – so, yeah. So with that Taylor Swift tickets, thank you very much, TG. Uh, the average price is $1,500 with people having to uh, get there and stay in a hotel, whatever it is. Um, it's amazing. And I met someone the other day who uh, took her daughter – to a Taylor Swift concert here at Gillette Stadium. Um, and she said it was just phenomenal. And then someone else there at this particular party was that said, oh yeah, we were there. It was just a phenomenal. 54 songs to sing. Quite something. All right, I've got that out the way. Now we go back to the market. I'll be back in a moment. We want to talk about gold, the dollar bonds, and I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Right, so let me get to the other questions quickly because I, I'm going to run out of time on the bicycle. Tiger is Kuki Tech Holdings. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, this is up. Uh, this TIGR is a symbol. This is not uh, TFNN. This is just TIGR is the symbol. Tiger um, up 22 cents at 5.49. Now I like this pattern very much. Now I had just spoken about the almost the same pattern uh, with the stock ASPN, and I, if I have time, I will go into that. I typed out what I was thinking. Uh, in the den a little while ago. So this is what I have to do. I have to go back for TIGR. I have to go all the way back to the lowest obvious low bar. That's this particular bar back in May, uh, around about 223 or so. So it goes peak A, peak B. I'm always looking for a D in the Chapman wave, and then other things can happen. And boy, did other things happen. Right here, peak D. So a new brand, a brand new buy signal to buy mode. It goes peak A, B, C, D. Right there, oops, click. Okay, here we go. Peak A, peak B. Peak. This is nothing that I don't do all the time, every single minute of the day or night even. When I'm watching the charts, I'm busy notating, drawing in the cup formation, the arch formation, seeing if it can break, see if it can go one to one to the upside from the bottom of the cup or down from the, the, the trough of the, uh, the arch or the top of the arch. So here we go. This goes D, and then it spirals up to E. The reason why I didn't put a down arrow there is that the technicals were so strong. It looked like it would just continue higher, which it did. It went to an E right there. Then it pulls back sharp enough for a down arrow, sell signal to sell mode. And then it starts another rally. Here we go. Uh, oh, this is a tough one. I think that's the low by a penny. Let me just check. When you do enough of these, a 321 and 323. Yes, if you do enough of these, uh, 100,000 or so, you get quite good at it. Uh, this is, I've done probably easy, a half a million. Easy. Eh, it's probably more than that. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, now you get another pullback. And this has to go to, a, it should go to a down arrow. But look, the 9 period moving average didn't cross negative once in all those turndowns, but on time alone, I'm going to give it a down arrow. Then I'm going to have no choice but to put an up arrow right here and say, yeah, this is a peak. A. Now, 
I can only do this historically. At the time, I wouldn't have been able to put an up arrow because look, all the technicals except for the nine period moving average were very negative. So this is peak A, that's peak B, and then I would have said, oh, oh is this going to be a dreaded H failure? It's rolling over, it's rolling over, but no, it saves the day. The nine period moving average flips pink for just a one bar and then goes to green. So this is what I'm looking at, and then what I'd automatically do is I'd draw in the uh, trend line down, and it's just taking it out right now. I draw in the potential cup. Now, this is a little easier than the ASPN that I was saying. That's one of the most difficult things in the Chapman Wave methodology. When you get a sharp pullback and then almost like a V-shaped recovery, but it's starting to stall halfway, is this going to be an A peak A, peak B, and then a fold over with a dreaded H pattern, which it did right here? This one, A, B, this uh, UP financial uh, fintech holdings. And I, as I said, I think it's a financial, right? And then look what's happened. It's gone above. It didn't close above that left side high in the weekly chart of December 2022. But that, and this is exactly the same thing. That's the peak A. It gets to a, it gets to a leg B if it can go above this high right here, the high of, uh, was it the 1st of September? Uh, the week of the 29th of uh, uh, October. Yeah, the week of the 29th of September. The high of four. Four, no, 555, 5.55. And here it is, 5.52 with a height of 5.53. What it has to do is start a leg C here, and that says, you know what, it's going to try to attack that high. Yes, I like it. I should have said that right away. Yes, I do like it. Next question came up. So, um, yeah, I need to, okay, I need to, now I'm going to do this. Let's just run this really quickly. Look, the Dow. Nice move up today. It's up 163 at 33,765. So we went long last week uh, with the, we still short from right at the exact August the 1st high at 35,679. That was the high. We went long the uh, three times long in a trading position, so a small trading position, but three times long. You don't have to be overexcited about that. It's three times long. You still got to handle the trade. And we've taken a little bit off, a little bit of profit, and um, it held the stop. How it did, I don't know, but it held the stop for three days. And then Friday, held the stop and had a really good session. Not a great session. It was just good because it stopped and couldn't close over the 9 EM, the pink 9 EMA. Yesterday, it went right up to the 14 period moving average and then stalled. Today, that's now support. But this is really the start of something. Um, it doesn't tell you anything. And I drew in. The arch formation. Well, the reason why we went along is that it was my cycle date going back to May the 25th, where 32,586 was the low. Um, the number of days to the upside, to the August, the first high, to the number of days on June the 6th was equal. And that says, at about that point, you know exactly what your risk is. The risk is down to the 32,700s and the 32,586 level. So I widened the stop. I so we would have, we still pretty tight stop, and then I tightened the stop. So we've got a trading long. These are two different positions. Don't forget, we are still long from October in the di diamond. So I have all these different time frames where we're doing different things. That we would. I didn't think uh, we, we are long from the March low of 2020. I didn't think we'd be able to get back there. I didn't want to lose that position. So that's just building and building and building. At some point, we'll have to just get out of everything. But at this particular point, we do have a short position from the, in the Dow, August the 1st, and we have a trading position, which I believe is going to hit some tough sledding soon. And then I've drawn in the arch formation potential that that's where we come back. We, do we have to take out the low of uh, 32,846? We don't have to. But I'm preparing for some something going on uh, that, that just takes the market down again. So now I need to say, following it up, look, the S&P, this is a very strong leg A, very nice gray leg A, because I haven't got any technical indicators to confirm we've got even a buy signal yet, let alone a buy mode. So I'm just calling that a gray leg A. 
Look, the reason is we did almost a one, we did more than a one to one to the downside in the weekly chart of the dreaded H pattern, and it's still pink, the nine period moving average. So I need to see some confirmation of upside activity. QQQ, uh, <clears throat> very nice leg B right now. We went long on uh, Friday. Uh, yeah, Friday, intraday, we went long. Um, and that that position was because I loved hack, H A C K, but we missed the entry into it. I spoke about Chadway falling, X formation breaking out. Finally, the cyber security stocks are moving. Look at all that period. I said, surely cyber security stocks should be doing well instead of lower lows and lower lows and lower highs and lower highs and lower lows and just down, down, down. And now we're making higher highs and higher lows. And it's in a leg C in the monthly chart. This is the first time. So I said, we might miss it, but let's just get the TQQ because it's got the cyber stock. It's got, uh, uh, it's got the XLK. It's got a lot of aspects that should work in our favor. So, so far, it's looking good. I'll be back. Dallas, if I'm in 75. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument you have to practice sure but you also need excellent instruction from experts at TFNN you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis and it's not just dry tedious text either TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV live every market day from 8:30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world from the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money watch online at tfnn.com or on tfnn's youtube channel and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv Okay, so right here at uh, 4397, you can see the unbalanced volume turned down, the MACD deflected lower, the nine is still over the dip over the 14 in the one minute chart, leg E in the five minute chart, and leg D in the uh, 10 minute chart. So if there's any pullback, it'll have to be held at the 43 
93 to 43, 90 level, starting to go below that says, all right, now at 1020, oh, it's already 1030. At 1030, we can start to see some people taking some profits and then we'll have a little bit of a digestive phase. All right, just want you to do that. Now let's get back to some of the story here. So gold, and this is going to be really important. Gold is up $6 at 1870. The GDX, and that's the miners, <clears throat> keeps having quite good candles that hold much better than the actual visual chart that I see of gold. We did do the one-to-one -to, -one to the downside to the 25s in the GDX, and this is a very nice move. But if you're looking at the weekly chart, lower highs and lower lows, and it has an even bigger one-to-one -to, -one to the downside from the uh, 5th of May, 38.25 high, which took us all the way down to the 25s. And that's a 10-point move. That's... That's 20-something yeah, percent, so that, that's big. Meantime, uh, what we are looking at is, uh, in, in this particular instance, we're looking at the uh, silver. I need to put them together. The silver chart, a nice move up, just nice. It's not great yet. It's just nice. Doji candle yesterday should not have been a doji. It should have closed at the highs over the 14-period moving average. Today, it's still under that. It's up 0.07. At 21.99, and this is just telling me that the wow, I've been saying this for a, over a year. I've been saying all the traditional things that you look at are just out the window. You look at the VIX index, um, it just hasn't been proportionally as accurate as it used to be back in the day. You look at uh, the relationship of the dollar and gold, that relationship is only there in. in trend but got nothing to do with the percentage moves etc and we can go on and on the the fact that the the yield is skyrocketed usually when bonds go up and the yields come down the market goes with it we've seen bonds and the market go down so all of that's out the window so all i'm saying is that it could this could be the start of a much bigger move. Let's just look at Newmont Mining. I always like to look at Newmont Mining and ASA. Yeah, that's holding pretty well. Uh, very nice move off the low uh, at 34, about 34.90 or so. And it's trading right now at 37.96. But look at the weekly chart. Is this, is this what you would expect if there's this incredible conflagration in the Middle East and gold is... Look at this weekly chart. I would have expected gold to be up, uh, Newmont Mining at least, to be up much more than that. Look at the weekly chart uh, of, uh, look at this, the weekly chart of gold. Something's, I don't know. The proportionality is completely different to what I would have been anticipating. And let's look at ASA because that's the one that South African gold mine. Yep, nice session today, <clears throat> but not a great chart. Oh, well, look at the weekly chart. So is this coming off the bottom? If it is, it's going to be, um, maybe it's just going to be one of those, like we've. if you look at the market overall, I've been talking about the, the daily chart has gone from all of them, indices have gone from sell signals to sell modes. But the weekly charts only at the end on Friday, not even did the QQQ go to um, an S. In other words, the 914 was still green, still positive. So maybe we're looking at that in, the, in gold as well, that it just incrementally moves up as a kind of a, I think I better be in gold type move. And it's just a slower move. And eventually the weekly chart improves enough to, to flip the nine flips positive. But why? I can just tell you, this is not what I was in. Look at crude oil. Wouldn't you expect that crude under these conditions, instead of being down over a dollar today, 85.22, um, you know, I've got a 77 to 76 target over the coming weeks. I don't know if that's going to work out. That's the Chapman Wave unconventional Fed base restart uh, that I'd spoken about a little, uh, quite a while ago, back in August. Um, and then it ran up into the 94.95 area, and here it is coming down. This is, here again, this is not the relationship that you'd expect. All right, enough of the relationships. Let's get back to what I want to look at here. So I wrote down, uh, so a question came in about Cleveland Cliffs. I hope I've still got the notations there. Yes, Cleveland Cliffs, Inc., uh, Roll Steel. Um, up, so this is a peak A from the low. That's a peak B, and I'm making keeping this blue uh, I'm not changing it to uh, to gray because this is a, a buy mode. 
The stochastics at 81%. The MACD is good. Nines over the 14. Acting very well. It's up 21. So finally, we can look at Cleveland Cliffs and say, hey, not bad. But that's the daily chart. And the 50, uh, 16, 38 level is the 200 period exponential moving average. It hasn't been there since early August when it plummeted from that level uh, back in the 17s down to the uh, 13s. So I like it. So the question is, should I hold on? I'm going to say yes, hold on now. But what I would do is part of my position, I'd have a stop under not on today's lows, 1574. I'd probably say at about 1560 just for the moment. Part of the position, I'd have a stop to take something off. But I like it. But the weekly chart says, wow, there's a lot of work to do. It's about to bump into strong resistance. And that's at 1599 uh, or 98 in the 200 period moving average. So, but I, I would still hold it because it's acting very nicely. So yes, Cleveland Cliffs hold if you are still holding it right now. Um, a couple of other questions, let me just check here. Uh, Basil Newman Mining is the key to drive the GDX higher as Newmont is the general. It appears with a strike over in Mexico, it's ready to soar again, thoughts. So all right. Uh, a couple of people asked me about gold. Actually, quite a, not a lot of people asked me about gold. We do not have a gold position. I almost put it in on Friday, saying I think the dollar is about to have a bit of a breather, but the dollar is still holding really well, so we held off. But Newmont Mining, <sighs> let me just have a look here. Let me look at RGLD, Royal Gold, same kind of chart formation. Oh, the weekly chart did a beautiful one-to-one -to, -one to the downside, that parallel um, this is the bar symmetry. Took out those lows. Uh, what else should I look at? FNV. FNV. They all have pretty much the same. Yeah, all I can say is that if Newmont is going to lead, and if, this is a much, this the, the four candles we're looking at right now are very good candles. The pattern itself, the V-shaped pattern, it's just to go to the 41s in Newmont Mining, where it was just a few weeks ago, it's unbelievable, from 41s down to the 34s. Uh, it's got a lot of work to do. So if that's the case, that nine period moving average has to cross positive, and it's way negative. So it's got a lot of work to do. I'm not arguing. I'm not doing any, anything else, but I'm looking at the chart and saying it could. It's got a lot of work to do. Um, and if it starts to trade for two out of three consecutive sessions, now I say two out of four sessions, closing about 38, 38, 37, 38, 42 in that area, can close there, I'd say yes. That should continue higher. All right, we're, we're back, and the Dow's up almost 190 points. SP's up 34. See you in a moment, and I've got a number of other questions that we need to go through. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So uh, a couple of things we want to go through right now, and that is we've got a peak D with a doji candle in the one-minute chart, Leg E in the five minute chart, leg D in the 10 minute chart. So if there is going to be a bit of a breather, uh, maybe this is the time. But let's have a breather by going to a special guest online. And we've got, who have we got online? Am I speaking to Mr. Larry Pesavento? <clears throat> Billy Ray Valentine in the place. Basil, I'm going to try to be back tomorrow. Uh, I'll tell you, this stuff is really wicked because it really takes your energy. I, my goodness. I mean, the. Uh, Symptoms are not bad, but, boy, your energy level is down to zero. But I did want to mention to everybody, you know, when this thing happened on Sunday night, I alerted the folks that this market happens to go up. Get out of the way because, uh, you know, we had a right. major bottom down there in that 42, uh, 40 area in the S&P, and that could lead us all the way up to 4,500 easy. So that's all I'm seeing, and, uh, you know, that's all I know. And I so, want to thank you so much for setting in for me, too, Basil, because it's really helpful because I just not was not able to function for a whole hour. I think I'll be so, able to do it tomorrow, but, you know, jury's still out on that. But your voice still sounds uh, – I didn't expect it to still be scratchy like this. Uh, is it's it been uh, your scratchy throat okay? for three weeks. Uh, I, yeah. I think it was a prelude to this stuff coming on to me, and then when I started getting the sore throats and stuff, but I go to – I've been to the doctor three times. I'm under good doctor's care and everything. I'm not under you any, don't have COVID? any danger. I just don't have any energy to even look at charts. I mean, I just when I look at the chart, I see blanks. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Well, we're all hoping that you get better real yeah. soon. You're, it's, yeah. it's a whole it's a hole in our yeah. a lineup uh, every day. If you're not here, we need you. Yeah. Well. So uh, I appreciate. It. One thing I did do is I alerted the folks uh, on that. Rally Sunday night in uh, crude oil that only rallied up to the 382. That this is not bullish action, and of course, you can Wasn't see that now that crude's back yeah. off and, another three, four dollars. But right. this thing and is going to drag out for a long time, is my guess. But yeah, you know, I, don't really I think know. you're absolutely correct. Yeah, and not only that, yeah. gold. I, I was expecting gold to be much higher. Not that it hasn't moved, but I just yeah. in terms of the emotional aspect, I would have expected it to be up much higher. And so I, far, I that's just too, telling yes. us. This this is kind too. of business as usual for the market, I guess, as it looks yeah. right now. So, Larry, well, get better soon. Well, that's why I try to trade what I see and not what I think. <laughs> I know. I hey, know. Listen, pal, listen, thank you so much again, and I uh, hope you'll be back tomorrow. The odds are about 70-30 right now. I'm feeling pretty good this morning, and I'm not going to do much today. So if I can rest up today, I should be okay tomorrow. Okay, well, we're looking forward right, to buddy. that. Thanks a lot. Thanks for calling in. Thanks, you Larry. Bet. See you later. So Larry, Thanks. Good luck. You, bye bye. You hit it here, folks. Larry Pesavento. You heard the scratchy voice, but he's uh, playing as much as he can to be uh, back uh, tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, if it's possible, I'm going to try to be here during the one o'clock to two o'clock hour to fill in for Larry. I know from my own experience, and I know from people I've spoken to, 
who watch TFNN. I, I mean, we have people that are watching TFNN who have been here for listening. And, and some people have been listening to Tom since he was up in New Hampshire, which is well over 22, 23 years ago. So, um, yeah. Um, so we like to fill in that time with live stuff as much as we can. It's not always easy, but we try to do it. So now you can see, you see this one minute chart on the uh, e mini PD. See the way that uh, the on balance volume was much lower than it was earlier on. The um, so no, the MACD is much lower than it was. The on balance volume just gave you a really nice turnaround right at exactly the doji candle high in the one minute chart. But that doesn't mean to say, oh my god, that's it's all over. He just says, this is where you're getting a bit of a breather. You've got a peak E in the uh, five-minute chart. You've got uh, a leg D. It's only a leg until the next bar because it has to make a lower high to become a peak. You remember, it's called the floating ladder all the way up until it makes a peak. Now it's in leg D. If the 10-minute E mini chart cannot get above 4403.50, in this bar, and how many more minutes do we have? We have about uh, three minutes or so. Um, that'll be a D. So I, I'm expecting this is where this is the best time to take a little bit off if you've got an E mini or whatever, because uh, there's a bit of a breather. All right, let's get back to our story here. So I did that, did that, did that. Um, I'm going to. Okay, in the den, there was a question that I missed. Oxy. Oh, so this is going to be very interesting because if you look at the oil, so yesterday I was asked about rig. And I said rig has done fantastically well, but it has been digesting gains for quite some time. This is uh, Transocean Limited offshore drilling, oil and gas. So it made uh, 886 was the high back in August. And then it had a rebound to 8, 888. I forgot to put that in. And that went to, I call that a right arm extension because it made a new high at E, right there, right there, E. So I put an inverted V-shaped pattern. That's a little hat that goes there uh, because the last, I've used up the down arrow. So that's, that's not a brand new look. This is peak A, right there, A, B, and then I'll turn it E slash C. But it turned out to be an E. C minus actually, and it came tumbling down. And I said, yeah, I just think it's in a consolidation. Uh, if you're very long term long, I would still maybe keep holding it. But on a very short term basis, it isn't. It's making lower lows and lower highs. And that just says it's it's struggling. So I hope that helps you. So now I can go to Oxy, which is different because this is a multinational. Multinational, if I can type it into not the chart, but into the little rectangle there. Oxy, there we go. Oxy is trade. Oh, it looks very much like the rig chart. Oh man, I had these all. I, you can imagine over the years, uh, if I never lost any chart, they somewhere there they get saved, but they don't come up the way they should. When I have to shut down prematurely, or it shuts me down prematurely, it doesn't save it. For some reason, it should save everything I do. That's all. Just save everything, but it doesn't. So when it gets off. Bumped off because electricity is down or whatever it is. Um, so I have to put a down arrow there. This is Oxy. So Oxy, I think, is in the same category. That it's, a, it's really a buy and hold if you've been holding it for a long time. But at this particular point, I think it's just stuck in a range. Um, Occidental Petroleum trading at 63.75, down 43 cents. There is a falling X potential right here. But wow, it's going to have to do a lot of work to be able to utilize that. Um, it means that it would have to go at 63.75. It needs to close two out of three consecutive sessions above 65. And then I'll say, oh, okay, now it's going to move to the next high in the 66s, et cetera. But right now, it's just holding well. If you're holding any of these multinational oils like Exxon or Oxy, um, I, I, I would not I take short-term profits at any point. But I'd keep a core position. Look, ExxonMobil, not a great chart in terms of the daily, not a great chart in terms of the weekly. But that monthly says, what, me? I'm only 110, 100, I'm only 10, 12 points away from my, my is this an all-time high in ExxonMobil? Uh, I'll tell you in a minute.
Yeah, all time high in Exxon Mobil. Mobil. Just get your dividends and keep your full position. Short term, struggling a little bit. I'll be back for the final segment. That was up 137 SBs of 28. Um, I think I still got a couple of questions that I didn't finish. Yes, I'll be back in a moment. Bowser Chat and Tiger Day. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN and Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So I could do it at least a two hour show on this particular cup formation that you see at a peak D. Uh, after G slash C, uh, I just uh, it's amazing. All right, let me just do this because Bank of America, I didn't finish that up. I went to a couple of people asked me and I completely forgot to finish up my set. We had this call and I said, Bank of America has to start moving now. It's not a great chart formation at all. It's still not a great chart formation. But in the aspect of the TLT, if the TLT at least in the short term, starts to rally so that the uh, bonds can come down a little bit. I think that should help um, the Bank of America say yes. And uh, one, one particular person says, I did start a position last week and now it's up. So I would do this. I treat it as a trade for now. I don't think you've got any other choice. Let it go to something else later on. But right now, treat it as a trade. At least some part of your position, if it starts to fill in the gap right here and it touches the high of um, Tuesday, that's yes, uh, Monday, yesterday of 26.36, I'd say, you know what, just take a little bit off, 
just because it should not do that. It should, if, if anything, it should check, get to the top of this candle of the second, which is at 20, uh, 2736. But remember, I said that for subscribers, I chose an electronic bank financial because I think it has, and with a much lower price, but I think it has, it's, it's a stock of today. This is a stock of yesterday, yesteryear Bank of America that has to still get into the 21st century as fully as it can. So I, I, two different things, and thank goodness the one that we've got is up really sharply, up over 3% just today alone. So that's a different category. But this is nice. It's up 2.95%. You got up 3% in Bank of America. So with that said, what you want to see is the Dow after 2 o'clock this afternoon, 130 to 2, but I'd say make it 2. If the Dow is up more than 120 points, that's good. If it's given back and it's now only up 65 to 45 points, just be careful. There could, could be a fade into the close today. But uh, so far, the buying pressure seems to be maintained. That's good. Have a wonderful rest of the day. I'll be back with Tom.